guys, welcome! In this video, we'll talk about how to efficiently farm with a dancer and gypsy class in order to level up to the Wanderer third job in no time. We'll discuss the most important stats, skills, runes, equipment, cards, and tips needed to maximize the farming capabilities of the dancer and gypsy class. Hopefully by now this video, you'll have a better understanding on how to level up faster to the Wanderer third job. Alright, without well, further ado, let's begin. First, let's start with a stat build. Since this build is focused on grinding, we will only put points and attributes that increase physical attack. The most important stat to pump first is dexterity as it increases range physical attack. However, since the farming skills of dancers consume tons of SP, you also need to add points on intelligence for faster SP recovery. Int can also increase physical attack when the int switch runes are activated. There's no need to put points on Bit or Agi for survivability since this build is just a farming build and our priority is to one-hit mobs with high damage output. However, if you feel the need to add Bit or Agi for increased HP or Flea, it is up to you. Next, let's discuss the most important skills to get. Take note that some of the skills can only be used when you have a bard party mate near you. These are called ensemble skills. For the archer skills, you should allocate points on Level 10 Fultress Eye for increased range and hit. Level 10 Owl's Eye for plus 10 dex. Level 10 Elemental Arrow for plus 30 attack. And lastly, you get level 10 Arrow Shower since the damage of the Wanderer's skill Raging Storm is activated by the damage and level of Arrow Shower. For the Dancer skills, you may get level 10 Arrow Flurry as this will be your primary farming skill. It has a long range and fast cast delay, which greatly increases farming efficiency. Do take note that you can only use this skill when using a whip. Then get level 10 Practice Dance for additional attack when using whips. Next, a lot points on level 5 service for you, which is a solo skill that increases your max SV depending on your total int attribute. When service for you arcane runes are activated, this skill will also increase SP regen by 5% each. This synergizes well with the farming skill so that you can spam them continuously. Next, get level 5 Chilling Scream to stun enemies for AoE crowd control. Lastly, max out Mr. Gold is rich to level 10. This is the only ensemble skill that is useful when farming since it grants higher EXP to teammates within an area. However, this skill is still buggy as it doesn't activate automatically when you put it in auto. For the Gypsy skills which are prioritized getting, level 10 Proficient Dancing to further increase your damage output. Then get Arrow Vulcan which is another single target farming skill that deals higher damage compared to Arrow Flurry. Choosing between Arrow Flurry and Arrow Vulcan depends whether you can consistently one-hit mobs. It is easier to achieve one-hit kill with Arrow Vulcan than Arrow Flurry since it has higher damage modifiers. In addition, there is a rune that increases attack by 3 for every 10 SP remaining when the damage of Arrow Vulcan is being calculated. However, in terms of farming speed, Arrow Flurry is superior since its cast delay and cooldown is shorter than that of Arrow Vulcan. Hence, just use Arrow Flurry when you can already one-hit your target mobs. Next, get level 5 Don't Hold Me Back to allow movement when using ensemble skills. And lastly, allow the remaining 5 points on level 5 Encore to reduce SP costs from repeating service for you or any other performance skill. As for the remaining 10 points, allocation will be up to you. You may get momentary adaptation to stop a solo or ensemble skill. However, this can actually be done by just unequipping then equipping again your whip or by moving out of the rages of the ensemble skill. Once you've reached job breakthrough, you may allocate the additional skill points on the following. Level 20 Practice Dance and Level 15 Proficient Dancing for a plus 10% damage increase and plus 5% attack respectively. Then a lot of points on level 15, Mr. Gold is rich to have 100% increase in job and base EXP gain. Please note that your Bard partner should also max his skill to get a full 100% increase in EXP. And lastly, you may get level 20 Elemental Arrow for a higher attack since there are runes that give 3 attack per level of Elemental Arrow. However, if you're going to use Raging Storm for farming as a Wanderer, you should put points on level 20 Arrow Shower instead. As for the breakthrough of the Arrow Vulcan skill, Getting it is only needed if you still can't one-hit the mobs you're farming. Now let's go to runes. Runes are vital for the Dancer and Gypsy class as these increase the damage output of Arrow Flurry and Arrow Vulcan. For the Arrow Flurry build, you may follow this rune path. The minimum requirement is 51,150 contribution and 88 gold medals. 
This path activates all the Arrow Flurry and Power runes which increase the damage of Arrow Flurry by 8% each, and the Arrow Flurry Proficient runes which reduces SP consumption during a performance. Other runes that you may unlock to further enhance the damage of Arrow Flurry are Elemental Arrow, Dex, Int, and Int Switch runes. To get all these runes, you need a total of 134,850 contribution and 270 gold medals. For SP sustainability, you may get the Service for You Arcane runes and play Increase SP Recovery runes which can increase SP regen when using Service for You. As for the Arrow Vulcan build, you may follow this rune path. The minimum requirement is 53,100 contribution and 118 gold medals. This path activates the free Arrow Vulcan Arcane runes which give a total of plus 3 attack for every 10 SP remaining and the free Arrow Vulcan Empower runes which grants a total of plus 18% Arrow Vulcan damage. Similar with Arrow Flurry, you may also further enhance the damage of Arrow Vulcan by activating the Elemental Arrow, Dex, Int, and Int Switch runes. You should also get the Service for You Arcane runes and play Increase SP Recovery runes since the damage of Arrow Vulcan is also affected by your remaining SP amount. Take note that not all Mr. Gold Experience runes are included in both rune paths. This rune increases job EXP earned by an extra 3% when using Mr. Gold is rich. If you're going to use this ensemble skill for farming with a bard partner, then you need to activate all 4 Mr. Gold Experience runes. If you have remaining contribution points, just allocate them on nearby attack runes. For Arrow Vulcan, you may also get nearby SP runes. Take note that this rune map only includes those which can increase the damage of Arrow Flurry and Arrow Vulcan. Feel free to experiment and modify your runes based on your playstyle and personal preference. Up next, let's dive into the equipment and card set that you need to prepare. In general, we need to equip items and cards that increase physical attack, dexterity, range attack, ignore defense, and physical penetration to inflict higher damage output. It is also essential to get items that increase int and SP region for SP sustainability. For weapons, a double-slotted meteor whip is the most suitable for farming. This is the only whip that can be used by dancers and gypsies. Upgrading it to tier 4 and refining it to plus 5 is mandatory when farming with Arrow Vulcan due to the additional attack it gives. As for the enchantment, you should aim to have the 4th enchant morale for ignore death or arch for range attack. As for weapon cards, it will depend on the monsters you're farming. Use an appropriate element, size, or race card to boost damage. As an example, if you're farming Orc Lady which is of Earth Element, Medium Size, and Demi-Human Race, then you can inlay your weapon with two of each or a combination of the following cards. Memblood card, Skeleton Worker card, and Hydra card. The Reign of Our card is only useful once you've become a Wanderer as it increases the damage of our shower which then increases the damage of Raging Storm. At this point, if you already watched my previous ultra-fast board leveling guide, the following equipment set is the same for the Dancer class. However, if you haven't seen that yet, please keep on watching. Next for the armor, the best option would be a tier 3 tights with Arch or Morale 4th enchantment. As for the armor card, you may use the Archer Skeleton Star card for additional attack. You may also use a Moonex Star card for more ignore death if the monster you're farming has a defense stat that is greater than 300. For the offhand, you may use either a plus 10 or a plus 15 tier 4 Niles bracelet for more range damage, or a Rosa bracelet when fighting against higher death monsters. As for the offhand card, you can inlay a card that increases damage to monsters with certain elements. As an example, equipping a Draco card increases damage to earth monsters by 5%, perfect for farming the Orc Lady. Another option is a Year of the Big Blessing card, which increases base EXP gain from killing monsters by 3%. Up next for the garments, the best option is a tier 4 plus 12 Ancient Cape as it gives additional ignore death and attack. Then inlay a Toad card for a plus 4 dex, or a New Year Blessing card which increases job EXP gain from killing monsters by 3%. For foot gears, we have the Rune Boots which gives plus 3% attack and faster movement speed. Then for the footgear cards, equip an Agira card or Sohi card if you're having problems with SP sustainability. If not, then you may use a Unit 01 card from the EVA event which gives plus 10 attack and plus 2 dex. For accessories, these are the top suggestions. 
First, we have a tier 9 Lunar Bruce for the Shell Attack, Dex, Int, and SP region. This is also relatively cheap and easier to slot. Second is the Meteor Sleash, which gives higher attack compared to the Lunar Brooch, although this is more expensive to upgrade and slot. Third is a tier 3 Gloss for additional attack and deck stat, which is also good as a starting accessory. And lastly, we have the Dog Tooth Gloss, which is a final tier upgrade of the gloves. It is the best end game accessory for minstrels at plus 12 refinement and max tier due to the huge damage modifier. However, this is the most expensive out of all the options. As for accessory cards, you may inlay a Zipper Bear Star card for a plus 3% attack, Zerum card for plus 4 dex and plus 1 int, or any damage modifier card. Examples are the Kaho card for Earth Element monsters, the Ultraman card for Brief and Demon monsters, and the Scorpion card for Plant monsters. Lastly, for the head gears, these are the suggested items. For the head, a cheap but really good starting gear is the Cat Ear Berry. You may also use the Ice Apple from the Gingerbread City Quest or the Orb Doll Hat for plus 4% base and job EXP from killing monsters. For headwear cards, you may use an Andre Star card for higher damage. If your SP drains rapidly, you may use an Incubus card for SP region. For the face, use a Dragon Skill Stripe for more int and dex or Nut on Head for plus 5% ignore death. You may also equip a hockey mask when farming Orc Lady. For the mouth, we have the blowgun, or the spike scarf and farming orc lady. For the back, equip a quiver or a devil wing for higher damage. And lastly, for the tail, get the beast tails or the puerco picha. If you want to spend real money on this game or want to try your luck using free vouchers, then you can use the following gacha items from the Fantasy Generator Machine. The same equipment from the Fantasy Generator Machine 2 as they grant additional base and drop EXP when killing mobs. The Nedhog's Poison Fang Head item as it increases damage by 10% and gives plus 5% job EXP from killing monsters. The Frost Masquerade Mask Face item which increases attack significantly. The Dream Move Silk Mouth item for increased penetration or Dusk Veil for more attack and job EXP. The blue Eastlet Sea back item for additional attack and job EXP, and the Wind Perch Drake or Gut Swing Tail item for more damage. As for pets, you may choose any of the following So he or Marionette for helping with SP region, the Veruchi Smokey or Zoltres for plus 40 attack, Desert Wolf Baby, Peko Peko or Alice for plus 5% ignore death. Overall, I think the Jiltress is the best pet to have as it does not only increase attack, but also increase physical penetration by 2%. Lastly, here are some tips you need to take note of when farming. Tip number 1. For your auto skill slots, just put in Arrow Flurry or Arrow Vulcan and service for you to help sustain SP. If you have a Bard partner, then replace service for you with Mr. Gold is Rich. Be sure to take Stay Alert so that you will not move out of the range of your partner. Tip number 2. Using converters will significantly increase the damage against monsters with elemental weakness. Use flame heart for earth element monsters like the orc lady and geographer, or undead element monsters like the dark priest, fairy main, and dulahan. Activate great nature for wind element monsters like punk, carrot, and harpy. Activate rough wind for water element monsters like the phenomena and anolian. And lastly, activate Mystic Frozen for Fire Element mobs like the Brylight and Fire Fledgling. Tip number 3. Use items that increase job EXP for faster leveling up. As an example, we have the Pouring Growth Panacea which can be brought from the Tura Assistant. This increases EXP gate by 100% for 1 hour. You may also use the Poriku which increases EXP gain by 100% for 30 minutes. You can use both items at the same time for faster leveling up. Tip number 4. To boost damage, you may eat cooked foods that increase attack and movement speed, such as Original Will Fish Steak or Parenteria Royal Fish Steak to get your targets faster. You may also use the new secret recipe Satisfied Feast which gives plus 40 attack and plus 2.5% penetration. Cast delay reduction foods like the Original Will Salad and Sweet Coriander are also good when using Arrow Flurry for faster kills. However, for Arrow Vulcan, it is not recommended since it has a long cooldown. Another use of cooked food is for SP Store. You may consume 999 one-star food for the SP Discharge. 
And for my last and final tip, you need to invest in your raw attack which I have talked about in my previous video. If you haven't watched that yet, I have the video link down below. Having a huge physical attack will definitely synergize with your skills, runes, cards, and equipment to further enhance your damage. As a bonus tip, element praying cards are also beneficial in increasing damage. As an example, if you're using flame heart for farming, you may want to put praying cards on fire damage. Alright, so far we discussed the most recommended stats, skills, runes, equipment, cards, pets, and farming tips for your dancer to become a wanderer in no time. I hope this guide was helpful in setting up the foundation for your character. As for the Minstrel and Wanderer Raging Storm build, I will make a separate guide so stay tuned for that. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.